Hello, and welcome to another edition of Selling Hobson by the Pound. This week, very interesting selection of things. I dug deep and looked for duplicates in certain... So it's a little bit all over the place, so this is going to be fun. Um, here's a Leo Kotke record, and this is on... Um, pri from Private Music, and it's... Um, called Regards from Chuck Pink. Um, you rarely ever see this record. This is, came out, I think, in during one of those times, uh, 1987. So, um, yeah, I, I have two copies of this, and this is one of them. Um, so that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Now, I call, this is, falls into the folk part of my collection and um, these records are um, this record by John Renborn and Stefan Grossman it's called Snap a Little Owl and it's on this label called Shanakee Shanakee 9703 and these two guys played a lot together in fact there's some more in this stack um, from that section and these are great great, great guitar records. And so here's Grossman and, uh, and Renborn. This happens to be a sealed copy of this record. And it says, contains a free eight page tab slash music booklet. These records are really cool, uh, especially when they're sealed. So here's another Leo Kotke record, sealed. Uh, it's called, um, uh, oh, God, actually, it's John Fahey and Leo Kotke uh, and Peter Lang. What the heck is the name of this record? It's on Tacoma, and it's these three guitar guys playing together. It's absolutely fantastic. Another sealed copy. Hey, you're going to love this. On the back, this is the Tacoma Records, right? And uh, remember, Classic Records, we put out 6 and 12 string guitar, right? Which was one, always one of my favorites. It was on Tacoma as well. So uh, Kotke was on Tacoma for a long time. Check this out. The, the tagline for Tacoma Records is, Better records were never made. Better records were never made. It's kind of a double negative. But um, anyway, Tacoma Records, uh, they used to be on Sunset Boulevard. Sealed copy, um, so be on the lookout for that. This is a cool record too, another sealed copy, um, and it's The Judds, um, Why Not Me is the name of the record. And let's see, were there any, is anything else interesting about this? Um, was ma mastered in Nashville, produced by Brent Maher, um, by, oh, Cut one side one. Why not me? So it's on RCA. Curb. Beautiful picture on the back too. So if you like the judge, there's a big one. Now remember, we've seen some alto high fidelity releases uh, in the past, mostly classical from the EMI catalog, and we've talked about those being reissues. So it turns out alto was, you know, they were a reasonably big deal in Germany. Uh, that guy Joachim Bosa was the guy that started it. And um, they did um, some jazz stuff too, because actually he was a much bigger jazz fan. And, and jazz sold very well in Germany. So he uh, got into the Steeplechase catalog and um, here are some of those records. And these are sealed copies. Um, and this is a double bass, um, some guys, this is Steeplechase SCS 1055, right? And um, yeah, it's a seal says made in Germany. Here's you know my sticker on it and so forth. But nice copies. Um, here is the Dexter Gordon Quartet, Swiss Knights. Again, alto, high fidelity uh, reissue. And uh, they did a really, really good job on these. 180 gram, only 2,000 copies were issued. And these were all pressed at Palace in Germany. So um, yeah. You, you'll never find these again. Here is a, another, is this? Uh, so here's an interesting thing, right? So 
Alto Yacombosa had a partner and then they split up into two different companies and they were still friendly, so it wasn't a bad split up. Um, but there was something called sound service and that's what this is. It says uh, guaranteed unbroken seal, your 180 gram quality pressing, half speed mastered from the original master tapes, comes directly from the manufacturer. So this is sound service in Germany. Um, this is a title, uh, the Dolphin Stan Getz Quartet, licensed by these guys. It's a reissue from uh, Concord. So this is a really good record and a sealed copy of same. Um, here is an interesting record. This is from uh, CMP Records in Germany. It's percussion unit. Um, and there's John Bergamo is, the, is part of the percussion. Jim Hildebrand, Greg Johnson, Larry Stein, uh, Lucky Mosco, and Ed Mann. So they're playing marimba, vibe, steel drums, uh, cowbells, wood blocks, mixing bowls, and frying pans, believe it or not. This is a pretty cool record. And look, it's got a coyote on the back as part of the image. This is a really, really cool record. And then, of course, the elephant jumping on the Serta mattress on the front. So this uh, In Need Again is the name of the record. And I believe this is it's a sealed copy. So there you go. Now, here is something kind of crazy, okay? You guys might not know about this, but Epic, the great Epic Records, um, also did jazz recordings. Uh, a, and I knew a guy called Mike Berniker, who was a producer at Epic at, so, at, at Columbia Epic. Epic was a sublabel of Columbia Records. And of course, now all of that's under Sony, right? But this is uh, Pony Poindexter's called Pony, Ponies Express. This, is, this record's produced by Teo Macero. And this is the mono, and these are the collectible, collectible records in mono. Um, really great recordings. But here's the problem. Because this is sealed, I don't know whether this was an original, you know, or whether this was a later reissue. I'm going to guess that it's probably a reissue, but still, it's a, it's a mono copy of, uh, of one. And so... Just keep in mind, Pony Pondexter is the, the band leader here, but Gene Quill, Phil Woods, Eric Dolphy is on this record, Pepper Adams, Dexter Gordon. I mean, this is, this is a crazy cool record, right? Um, my favorite song of which is Strutting with Some Barbecue. So there you go. Another cool thing, when I um, was in... The audio business, people, some people know this. I used to own a record, uh, a hi-fi store in New York City called Hobson Ultimate Sound. And this was during a period before I started Classic Records when Chad Kassam had already started Analog Productions, right? Ended up buying Classic Records. But he put out a number of records that he licensed. And this is one uh, art, famous record from Contemporary, Art Pepper Meets the Rhythm section. Uh, 180 gram vinyl. This was mastered by Doug Sachs, you know, at the mastering lab and so forth. These records are highly sought after. Um, sealed. This is pro this record's probably coming up on 30 years old. Um, the reissue of it. Anyway, keep on the lookout of that. Uh, Black Balloon. John Renborn. Re remember, this is Shanaki as well. It's a sealed copy. Uh, it's, it's recorded at Crescent Studios Bath in Somerset, which is in the UK. And it's on the Shanaki label. Here's a picture of Mr. Grossman on the back with a cigarette playing his acoustic guitar. And oh, he's actually got a cigarette on the front cover too. Not something we see so much anymore. Um, and again, the famous free tab slash music booklet included. So, anyway, sealed copy, John Renborn, uh, Black Balloon. Stefan Grossman and John Renborn, remember we saw that before. Um, it's, um, this is, uh, what's the name of this record? Goodness. 
Um, ah, look at that. Recorded at Livingston Studios, London, England. Um, and put out on, this is not on Shanakee. This is on Sonnet. Pretty darn cool. Yeah, picture of the both of them on the back. Sealed copy. Um, there you go. This is an interesting record, or box actually. It's called Big Bands Revisited. I don't remember a lot about this this box, but it's you know it's got a pull out in it and Big Bands Revisited. Right, it's one of those. It's got six records in it or so. Cool stuff. This is uh, this was put out. This is a collection put out by the Columbia Musical Treasures. Division of Columbia Records back in the day. Pretty cool. All right. Of course, we have to go back to EMI because it has so many of them. This is a record I've seen before, so this is probably the last copy that we have of Paul Tortelier, Shostakovich, and Walt and Cello Concertos, pa uh, pa Pavel Berglund, and the Bournemouth Symphony Orchestra. I'm sure this was recorded at Bournemouth Hall. And um, yeah. Stuart Latham is the Eltham is the balance engineer. Um, I remember the sound on this being amazing. So nice uh, small postage stamp dog label. Here we switch back to this is Chet Baker in Tokyo Memories. This is on that paddle wheel. I think we've seen a copy of this before, or something else on paddle wheel. Um, let's see, look at that. Oh, yeah, there. See the paddle wheel on the on the label. Yeah, this is Chet near the end, so voice is a little ragged, but the playing, the the um, the horn playing is absolutely beautiful. So there you go, brand new copy, made in Germany. Ah, oh, actually it says made in West Germany. Oh my goodness, must have been before the wall came down. Anyway, memories by Chet Baker. Here is um, this is an interesting record. Beaver Davis, and it's called the 360 Degrees Experience. Uh, Ron Burton, Cameron Brown, Ken McEntry, uh, and somebody's name that I don't want to butcher. So there you go. Uh, sealed copy. This is jazz, and um, yeah, uh, sealed copy. This has got to be pretty darn rare. Um, this was made in, in uh, Italy, actually. Recorded June... 22nd, 1979, and uh, pressed in, in Italy. I, I've never seen that record before. Here's one of my favorite records of all time. I'm just going to say that. And I tried to reissue this record for the entire almost 20 years that I had classic records. And I was never able to do it. But guess who did? Chad Kassam was able to reissue this record, and I was so happy for him. I have a copy of the reissue. This is an original Beehive copy, sealed. When I knew about this record, every time I saw it anywhere, I bought all the copies I could find. And so I have a few copies of this, but it's recorded 1980, Master Sound Productions, Franklin Square, New York. And I'm gonna tell you right now, if you haven't heard this record, um, it's amazing. And I think Chad did a really good job um, but Johnny Hartman is, just has this absolutely amazing voice, and, and particularly on this record, Once in Every Life. So it makes me get a little choked up when I think about it. Here's another one of those alto editions from the Steeplechase catalog, Steeplechase 1125, Dancing on the Tables. Cool, right? John Liebman. John Schofield on this record and Billy Hart. So there you go, sealed copy. Another cool record. I actually was part of the mastering on this. Uh, this is Gene Ammons' Boss Tenor, very, very famous Prestige 7180. Um, this was an alto edition and it was mastered at Bernie Grunman Mastering. I was there with an original copy of this record and we mastered it from the original two-track analog masters and it was pressed, if I recall correctly. Actually, you know what? We played it at RTI. Gary Solstrom, I think, played it. Um, and then we sent the mothers, masters and mothers, over to Germany 
and I believe they pressed it there if memory serves me correctly. And this is Alto Edition 002. So this is when they went down that road. And we, you know, remember Classic Records distributed this, but in this particular case, you could really think of this as a Classic Records reissue because I personally did it uh, for Joachim Bosa. And um, this is pretty close to my heart, the sealed copy that I've had all those years. A um, couple more EMIs. Uh, this is a white and gold of uh, Victoria de Los Angeles singing Ravel and Debussy. It's called a French recital, and I put I write mint original white and gold label pressing of this highly collectible title. De Los Angeles is an angel vocally on this recording, and perfectly captured by the EMI team. This pressing and recording get. Are you ready for this? Three wows. You'll never see a better copy, I say. Huge, lush sound, perfectly mic'd vocal, mint copy, period. I don't say that lightly, so be on the lookout for that record. Mozart Piano Concertos 21 and 27, Baron Boehm, uh, soloist and conductor of the English Chamber Orchestra, I write. Beautifully balanced recording by EMI team. Powerful dynamics with classic You Are There um, EMI sound. Beautifully played and nice copy. Top recommendations. Postage stamp dog pressing. Scheherazade. Remsky korsakov Scheherazade with our friend Sir Thomas Beecham and the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra. I write... Very quiet surfaces on this absolute first issue, white and gold label pressing, impossible to find in this pressing slash condition. Legendary Beecham reading of the blockbuster Scheherazade. Cover is VG. It's got some, some stuff. Um, but disc is near mint. Two wows. Okay, so white and gold. There you go. You won't, you won't find a better copy of this, I don't think couple more left. Uh, Rimsky-Korsakov, the Golden uh, Cockerel Suite. Uh, Prokofiev, Summer Night uh, Suite from uh, Duena. And this is Berglund in the Bournemouth Symphony. I say another Berglund BSO great performance at Bournemouth Symphony Hall, Bournemouth, UK. Captured exquisitely by EMI's Stuart Eltham. Now, remember I always rave about Bishop and Parker, but I'm going to tell you something. The Stuart Eltham uh, recording engineer recordings are often exceptional as well. Beautiful sound and great recording. Nice copy. Top recommendation. Remember, this is an EMI, I'm sorry, Odeon pressing, which means it has an Odeon sticker on it and on the front for export. But they were pressed at EMI at the same time that the, that the postage stamp dogs were pressed as well. So there you go. Nice copy. You don't see that record very often couple more. Um, here we've got what I thought last week was the last copy. This is Brahms 4, the last ones of these. Remember, these are the King Super Analog discs uh, made in Japan, mastered, cut on this custom system, and then pressed at the legendary JVC. This 180-gram version, Brahms 4 Symphony Cortez in the Vienna. I personally am a huge Brahms 4th fan. And this is one of the great performances. My favorite, by the way, if you were to ask me, is, of course, um, the uh, Bruno Walter recording of the Brahms Fourth that we put out on Classic Records. One of the highlights of my, um, my time uh, owning and reissuing things for Classic Records. I really love Brahms Fourth. Stellar performance, well done by... King Super Analog. It's a, that's a DECA recording originally. And the last one here, Portrait of an Artist, Dietrich Fischer Dieskau. Collection of songs sung by arguably one of the greatest baritones of the 20th century. Powerful voice captured superbly by EMI over many years. So this is a compilation of different things that they did. Uh, small colored dog label. Um, but there you go, Dietrich Fischer Dieskau. Thanks, and as usual, good luck.